Hello Aries, welcome to your August monthly forecast. You're going to see in the month of August a significant shift in how you're focusing your energy, in what you're paying attention to. You know, you guys have been, I don't want to say obsessed, but you know, really, really hyper focused on finances for a while now. And that's all kind of coming to a head August 1st. As you know, the big North Node Uranus Mars conjunction is happening July 31st into August 1st. And Mars and Uranus are making that exact alignment in your second house of earned income on the first of the month. So there is something heating up for you now with finances, big changes, exciting changes. You're just, you know, ready to take a risk and go after something in, in a just innovative way. But after this conjunction, the money focus starts to settle down for you, Aries. And I got to tell you, the rest of the month, you're ready to play. You want to have fun. You want, uh, you want social fun, romantic fun. You want to enjoy time with your kids, with creative projects and pursuits, with what brings you joy, what brings you pleasure. And that really becomes the primary focus of the month of August for you. And I'll explain why. So as we get into August 11th, the planet Venus, which rules love and social harmony, will enter your fifth house space. The fifth house in astrology is concerned with romance, where you, where you meet someone, where you start dating them, where you fall in love. It is sex. It is, uh, it is procreation. So it's your children. It rules your children. And it also connects to all creative pursuits. And with Venus here from August 11th on, you're focusing now on what makes you happy. So it's kind of like summer really starts for you in August, okay? You are just ready to play. If you're single, this could be a brand new romantic partner that comes into your life. If you've already met this person and you're dating, the romantic element really picks up in the month of August, you might, uh, you might really start to fall for this person. Venus does rule love and pleasure. You'll also have a lot more fun with your children. You're going to have quality time and uh, quality moments with, with your kids, no matter what their age is with Venus here. There might also be something really nice happening for one of your children with Venus moving through this area of your chart. So be aware of that. Creative pursuits also are highlighted now. So if there is something, Aries, that you've wanted to do that's much more creative, this is when you're ready to put the, the effort in, but it doesn't feel like effort. It is just the natural use of your talent into this creative endeavor. And I promise you, it's going to feel like play. So I want you to do that after August 11th. On the same day, a full moon is going to fall in your social 11th house. This is your friendship sector. And so fulfillment in social groups is indicated. Pleasure. Uh, but it's not even, this is not so much about pleasure as it is camaraderie, as it is uh, maybe connecting with a group of people for a deeper purpose. So you might be part of a charitable or humanitarian endeavor uh, at this full moon that makes money for people, that does good for society in some way. It's also possible that you will just be enjoying more fulfilling times with friends as well during this time period. It becomes a busy time. You're, you've got it on both ends now. You've got the fifth house of lovers and romantic pursuits and children. And then you've got the 11th house of friendships and who you spend your time with and your group affiliations, all highlighting mid-month very strongly. So then... This, I think, may tie into your creativity because on August 20th, Mars, which is your ruling planet, is going to enter your third house. And now Mars is hanging out here for a really long time, guys. So get used to this. Usually Mars will spend a couple months in a sign and move on. But what's going to happen this time around is that Mars will go retrograde in the fall. And we'll talk about that when it's closer to happening. But because of that Mars retrograde, Mars is going to stay in your third house of communication until next year, 
until 2023. So we've got Mars here for many months to come. But as Mars enters Gemini, it enters your third house of communication and thought and writing, contracts, your mind becomes very, um, it's not scattered, but I feel like you're torn in, in two places. There are at least two projects that you want to work on that are communications related. This could also be sales if you're in a sales industry, and you might also be busy negotiating contracts, important agreements with Mars here. Now, with Mars here, the, the courage behind your words is strong. So you will have no problem being assertive and, and declaring what it is that you want in your negotiations and trying to get your terms met in an agreement. This is also a time when you're going to be louder with your words, okay? So if you're getting angry about something, you might try to get your point across in a much more assertive way. And it could be a little bit too strong for some people. So be aware of that possibility. But overall, your mind with Mars in the third house now is moving faster. So because it's moving faster, you have ideas just swarming all over the place. It needs expression. And this could be a really fertile time if you have a creative project that is communications related because with a combination of Venus being in your fifth house and Mars being in your third house, that truly is success opportunity in a creative communications type of endeavor. So I like that for you. Now, there is a new moon at the end of the month that is going to happen in your work sector. And for some of you, this could bring a new person who works for you. You, If you're a business owner, you might hire a new staff member. You might hire someone to do, to do work for you. This new moon might also be you getting a new job. If you're not self-employed, you might actually be the one who gets a new job if you're looking. If you want to look for new work, I would say wait until after this new moon on August 27th and then put out your resumes and go on the interviews because the support is there. If you're looking to start something new in health, like a new healthcare uh, routine, joining a gym maybe, working out with a trainer, a new, a new diet, this new moon is something that you want to wait for because the new moon helps you to plant those seeds and to get something going, get something off the ground and form a good habit pattern with it. This new moon is in Virgo, so it's all about your routines and your habits. So I love that energy for you. But I got to say, overall, Aries, this is a month of pleasure. This is a month that is going to make you smile. I know it will. It is going to make you smile. It's going to make you uh, bring joy back into your life. Uh, bring a little bit of, of calm. You know, if your nerves have been frayed a little bit with all the financial stuff happening, now you're just going to sit back a little, relax, enjoy life. Put on your dancing shoes if you're a dancer. Go out, go to parties, go to events, go to those uh, barbecues or the beach or whatever. You might even be going on vacation. It just is a nice, nice energy. And I will say that there might be a couple of short trips, like weekend trips, road trips that you're going to be taking once Mars gets into your third house after August 20th. So that also looks really promising for you. All right, guys. So happy August. Enjoy the pleasurable moments because... You know, when life gives you something good, you want to grab it and make the most of it. And I do think you're getting something really good in August.